Reminds me of fruit stripe gum. Mm. I love a good piece of fruit stripe gum for about three seconds until I spit it out because it loses its flavor. All right, let's head on inside to this Goodwill. It's a nice, big, clean one. So let's see what we can find today. Gonna grab a basket. I don't wanna do the whole shopping cart thing. So let's grab a basket. They got some tables up front here. How much? What are these, like concrete? New Goods coffee table black base, $60. And they have like the little side tables here for about $50 each on those. So there's lots of clothes here. I've mentioned it before, but we're not looking at those. We're going to the hard goods right over here. So there's this figurine section I want to look at right off the bat. There's a little angel girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh, she's a nurse angel with a clipboard in her hand. What? I wonder what she does up there. Does she do a whole lot? Lots of accidents must happen. Okay. Oh, you know, this is kind of a bad idea because now I can't touch things. Here, I'll just I'll hold it like a handbag. So there's this horse ornament. No, it's not an ornament. That's just its range thing. $3. These little squirrels look kind of neat. They're taped together. $2. They're painted up. Little craft situation. There's a pineapple plate ballerinas there more candle holders and some floppy bunnies floppy floppy bunny uh yeah there's those people reading a book yeah this is sort of unimpressive lots of stuff i don't want let's try the other the other uh aisle it's right around here so there's these plates and things on the end cap and then lots of clear glass which i doubt we find anything there Fifth Avon anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary to you. Is this that one brand that does things? I wouldn't know, it's $6 though. Maybe a baby sleeps in that thing or a loaf of bread, either one. I like these with the shells. Look how pretty that is, $4 for three plates. Here's more of the clear glass. I don't want any of it, unfortunately. There's some Pyrex mixing bowl, or like the storage things mixed in here, but they don't have their lids. And without a lid, you are useless. No, that's not true. That's not true, but that's how I feel. What's this girl doing? It's a fairy hugging a flower. Yeah, that's what they do a lot, hugging those flowers. Metal stuff here, look at this. It's $3. You can put your finger in the hole. And then, I don't know what you do. Oh, wait a minute, is this to hold your wine? I think you stick a wine in there. Like a whole bottle of it. I think so, and then the, maybe this is to hold something else, like a, like your finger, like I said. No, I don't know. Like a wine opener? Or a cork? Like a spare cork? Do you ever lose your corks? Tongs? That's an S, right? Oh, that's a goulet. Home Goulet Home, banana holder, or a finger holder. <laughs> oh, I'm just a silly little goose. There's baskets all there, look, baskets, metal baskets. Oh, more wine holders. Finish this aisle. They have the other vases there. What is this vase? Oh my goodness, it's $2, set of two, at a yard sale, I guess. Creamers. I don't know, I'm not very impressed by this selection, I must admit. We need to write them a letter. I don't know who we're gonna write, but. These people are still here. That pink woman, and I think a blue boy is underneath her. He usually is underneath her. I can't get a hold of it, see there's tape together. I don't know. It's a boy. Well, it looks like a bird, but all right. Uh-huh. What is this thing? Oh my gosh. Why would you want that in your house? What is this thing? It's from 2020. Nothing really good came out of that year. Uh-uh. Oh, it's one of these burnished metal music things. You twist up this guy. 
And then he plays a song. Oh, he won't turn. He doesn't do anything anymore. He's four dollars. And it plays a song, well at one point it did. And you got this little guy here. It's Elton John. There's the electric stuff. George Foreman is usually here. I don't know if we're gonna catch him on a good day or not. George? Well, oh, there's removable grid con contact grill. That's not him. What is this, morning? No, that's not George either. What is this, pumpkins and yarn? Perfect place for it. Okay, snowy days, metal things. Well, boy, I, I just, I think we need to go to the fabric department. Does my bag match my shoes? Yes. All right, so there's metals. Look at all these metals. I don't want metals, I want fabrics. We're going to the fabric department, like I said. Oh, that's a flamingo. <gasps> You're a flamingo. But is it a table runner? It's $2, I don't need that. They have all of these duvets and boublés. Wouldn't that be awful if you saw Michael Bublé just hanging there? He belongs at Goodwill. Oh, that was so, that was so mean. No, no, no. I don't mean it like that. He could sing here or something. Put on a show. So look at all these duvets. I don't want any of them. Hmm. So sad. Do we want any of these other fabrics? No. Probably not. Christmas? No. I was looking for something great. Hmm. I don't see anything. I was looking for like vintage, sewn, handmade, with like thread and stuff. But this looks printed, newer, not at all appropriate for what I'm trying to do in this life. Oh, that's fun. It's like a watercolor. Hmm. Still no. Darn it. Let's go back over here. Oh, they got dog toys. Look at all them books on the wall. My gosh. Ding, ding. It sounds like we're at school with the little doorbell thing they play. Those are some big hefty things. That's known as vitreous china. Yeah. It's like big white stoneware stuff. Kind of similar to restaurant wear. Look at this though. Reminds me of fruit striped gum. Mm. I love a good piece of fruit striped gum for about three seconds until I spit it out because it loses its flavor. But we do like it for a short term. Uh, see, plates, no, none of that stuff. Yeah, they've got a lot of plates. They, it's the, I think it's their specialty here. Plates. Plates and clothes. These crabs, though. Danville has their crabs. Okay, I don't know. Danville, Massachusetts. Oh, Danville, Virginia. What are those supposed to be? I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, these goblets. Those are some stoneware goblets. And they have all these mugs, too. The Discover mug is still here from last time. Oh, what could you put in here? It's supposed to be like a cruet set, I think. Like salt and pepper vinegar oil, maybe. It's $3. Silver plate made in Italy. Well, now you can just put whatever you want in there. And then there's this one here next to it. That has glass, like a casserole. Just needs a lid. Didn't see it. Look, there's this little glass rose in here. Aww. A glass rose. How much? $2. Yeah, but to ship that's kind of stupid, if you ask me. But look, it's all good. There's like leaves and the rose. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of long for shipping that in a box and everything. I mean, I've been known to do stuff like this. I've been known to be stupid. Should I be stupid? You want to be stupid with me? Okay. Let's be stupid. So many bowls, so little food. Very serious. They just put all this new stuff out here. It says, please do not touch the bin. So you can just look at it and then follow her till, till you get to where you Oh look, they got all the storage things too. Look at those teacups on the top. Those are pretty. See the teacups? We're just gonna look at them. Can't touch. The wood section. They got all these signs here with words on them. Welcome, we collect shells and friends. Oh, that's kind of strange. 
you just stick them around your house. Like, Denise, you sat over there in that corner. Beatrice, you sat on that chair. Do not move. You are part of our collection. Hold the seashell while you're at it. May the force be with you. May it be with you. Speak for yourself. Ooh, look how pretty this box is. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole... Ooh, it swivels. Anything that swivels is instantly better. Look, it, you can put you can put all your jewels in there. That's kind of neat. It's kind of a neat box there. Oh my gosh. It's 13. Uh, originally it was 50. Mm, I doubt it. If this was sold at Kohl's, then it was 50. And then now it's on sale for $5.50. But, oh, it's kind of neat. Mm, baskets, baskets. I could use a basket. Not, I mean, obviously not the one I'm holding. I could use like a interesting one. I have speakers to hide. Hmm. I don't want any of these though. I think one day I'm gonna go to an estate sale and find a nice basket. This one has tape on it. And it's electrical tape. That's not even the right kind of tape. They need to use basket tape. I made that up. There is no such thing as basket tape. Not that I know of. What does I say? Height? I cannot read. Oh, is that an animal? Huh. I don't think any of this wood is for us. Pay in advance. All these words. My goodness. Home. If you ever forget where you are. Home. Okay. What is that? This is us. Isn't that a TV show? Maybe they passed these things out at a cast party. Why is it all one word? I am so just not the right person for this hot chocolate bar. All because two people felt, oh my, give me a break. I am just too, too curmudgeon -y for this stuff. Aw, but so yeah, I like things like this. Oh, it's a felted flamingo kit. Ain't nobody got time for that. What the heck? All right, let's try a different thrift store because this one's not doing it for us. This should be pretty good. Hospice thrift store. It's like four minutes away from the Goodwill and I've never been in here. So hopefully it's good. I don't know. It might be, there's a butterfly for their logo. They're doing 25% off the entire store except for jewelry. So let's see what we can manage. They've got these dishes here in the front. Oh yeah, with the bubbles and the etched. That's nice. Some handbags. It's pretty good. This is Depression Era, two dollars. It has the black reverse painted, and it's pink Depression glass. Little compote dish. Compote dishes are known for being footed like this, as opposed to console bowls. A little bit wider, a little bit larger. So it's pretty good. It has the gold detailing on there, kind of worn away a little bit. But two dollars is not not that bad at all. Next to it is the moon and stars pattern here in amber for $2. And if there's no chips or cracks, I will get that because that's a pretty popular pattern. And I like the shape of this one being like a little oval. I'm not sure if you'd put like just candy in it or I don't know, celery, like a miniature celery dish or your cut celery. But there's also, what is this now? This little vase. It's a Linux crystal vase. This is not cut crystal. It's actually molded crystal. And you can tell cut versus molded because of how sharp it is. So it's a little bit smoother whenever you feel it. It's, it doesn't have that nice cut crystal feel to it. But it's still crystal because it has the lead content in it. So there's that. But yeah, I will get the moon and star. Let's look over here. I've got some knitting needles, some picture frames, some stamps. Let's back this direction. Yeah, I'll be right there. 67 pieces of Linux for 125 for all the dishes. Like there's some baskets over there. Not really needing any baskets, none of those. I was looking at baskets, you know, at Goodwill, but oh, look at all the games. It's pretty good. I don't know enough people to play a game. <laughs> That's so sad. There's a bust of a boy and a girl right there, and some vases. There's some of these nice pieces. Look at this one with the. And that's 
Bavaria, $6. That doesn't seem too bad at all, a nice floral bowl. Now this is transferred on detail, so it's not painted, it's not hand painted or anything. It's actually like a decal, transferware is also another name for it. And it has the gold as well. Not bad at all. Here this one is a pierced piece of pottery and that says Kirkland's on the bottom for $2. Pierced or reticulated in jewelry terms. It's just sliced, cut into, glazed. So it's very nice. What is this one here? Okay, so you got a nice big chunky piece of pottery for $2. Has the applied flowers on it. It's all ceramic, pretty good shape. Butter dish here with the covered butter dish for $4. That's Mark Germany on it. Looks like the handle's been broken right there, but that's pretty cool. So it's a domed butter dish, and then you got this plate here. Kind of similar to the other one in a way, but it's marked uh, Winter Winterling Bavaria for $2. They have a curio cabinet over here in the front. Little resin girl. Noah's Ark dish for $6. Some salt and pepper shakers for four there. Silver overlay plate for seven. Looks like a pewter mug. This looks nice for $5, this red ruby. It's a candlestick holder, it's a single, unfortunately, though. That might glow with a black light if you have a black light with you. And then you can see the cadmium in it. A lot of red glass is actually made using gold to create the color of the red. So it's generally more expensive to produce it that way. But a lot of times, whenever they do glassware like this, colored glass and red specifically, they will spray the color on because it's way cheaper to do it that way than to have the color infused all the way through the glass itself. But it's pretty cool. All right, so that place was a little bit on the smaller side. It had some stuff, but not a whole lot. And I did manage to find the one piece, that moon and star dish. I could have gotten the red candlestick holder, but I don't know, just one? I wasn't that excited. It was $5 as well, although 25% off. But with my little dish, I think it was $1.61 with tax and everything. That was really good. So I was happy with it. So overall, got two things at two stores, Goodwill and this hospice place. I'll have to see again. Maybe they rotate. Maybe there's other things. Maybe there'll be another candlestick holder and I can have like a pair if it's still there. But. So with that, I'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.